Hey, what's up guys? Today I am riding my KTM to the Clear Creek Hot Springs. I'm currently just about to hit the off-road section of the trip and I am in Harrison Hot Springs right now. Well, Harrison, the city. The hot springs are that away. Um, but it's very pretty. And it's a lovely day. Lovely little day for a ride. Hey, welcome back to another episode. Today I am riding from home to the hot springs up in Clear Creek. Um, so first up we're going to be cruising into a little place called Harrison, which has its very own hot springs. Can you believe it? Uh, the ride out there is really pretty, can be a little bit traffic-y, um, but it's absolutely beautiful. And sort of Harrison is is divided by the east and west there's springs on both sides and i'll talk a little bit about it through that video um, but just a couple of clips of the ride out there just to show you how beautiful it is in this part of the world i get to call my uh backyard if you will it's probably about an hour ride from home to get to harrison where i'm rolling up into now it's a tiny little like vacation -y, sleepy town anyways back into the video thanks for joining so I believe there's three or four sets of hot springs around here. So I've done one video on the Slowcat hot springs. This will be the Clear Creek. Then there's Keyhole, which is other side above Pemberton. Uh, and then there's another, uh, there's another set, but I forget the name. Um, above Slowcat somewhere, but I've never been to them. I might have to make that the next adventure. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go and find some tubs and uh yeah well first i'm gonna have some lunch because i'm starving but uh yeah other than that i'll put the drone in the air now and show you that view sweet <laughs> Cabin, I'm the captain on my ship. I'll be the first one clocking in and the last one on my ship. Bunch of keys in my pocket, my destiny in my grip. Don't take orders or submit, that ain't always a good thing. I don't think man was ever supposed to be king. Despite every sin on the power, do we cling? For me, it ain't malicious. My mission is just. Hey, welcome back from the studio. Uh, so, what we got here is you want to keep the Harrison Lake on your left. That means you are on the east side of Harrison and you're heading towards Clear Creek that's important you don't want to be on the wrong side of the lake here because the other side just ends you actually have to exit Harrison way before Harrison uh, in order to get to the west side of the lake so this is the east uh, very cool lookouts amazing things along the way bit of traffic usually in the beginning I recommend trying to go in the week it's almost um, uninhabited and once you hit the sort of dirt roads um, you see less and less traffic so if you don't have a GPS communicator I recommend taking one with just in case you have a problem especially if you're going during the week like here's a vehicle I'm passing now um, and vehicles are usually pretty courteous on this road which is very nice um, but if they aren't, obviously, uh, <laughs> just be patient when you pass because there can be a lot of dirt bikes and side-by-sides and all sorts of fun stuff on this road because it's awesome. Um, so yeah, get into it, have fun, enjoy the waterfalls as you go, very pretty. that one again so dirty anyways box running well things are looking good I've come from about 20 k's that way is Harrison and we are hitting about another 10 k's and then we're hitting inland for the hotties okay so what I will say here is that the GoPro does not do the size of those rocks justice it was pretty gnarly um, and I was getting kicked around a lot on the KTM it's hard to like actually see that um, but yeah it's pretty rough Stand up to the 
Schirm. Whoops. So as you can tell things are pretty gnarly through here um, I'm picking up the pace a little bit so usually on my rides I get faster and faster as I go on the dirt I get to start to feel it start to uh, bring the front tire up a little bit to get over bumps and whatnot um, so yeah I'll be prepared for that I like totally don't bring a car down this road you will absolutely thrash it um, like something with good suspension would probably be okay um, and yeah make sure you got a lot of travel on your suspension if you're on a bike because there's just rocks everywhere so you don't want to be dragging the body of bottom of your engine through any of that in terms of my bike i'm on a i think a 2020 ktm 790 adventure r uh the tires i've got on it right now are the shinko 805s i'm finding them uh really great they haven't lost like that long uh, i've been doing a lot of road riding with them so I've kind of blown through the back one already on a big trip I did uh, just recently. Everything else on the bike is stock, so uh, it's a I don't know, it's a really capable bike. I'm I'm loving it. I wouldn't pick any of the other adventure bikes over it. Um, and having said that, I haven't done like a big service on it yet either. I haven't done valves, so that that's going to come up uh, pretty quick here. I might just hit 12,000 kilometers. So it's a little bit early for valves yet, but uh, I might just get into it anyways, just to be careful. Uh, that I will do in another video, because I'm sure other people want to see a valve service on a KTM 890, 790, whatever. Uh, check this section here, it is pretty bumpy. Uh, I had a lot of fun riding that. There's quite a big um, downhill on the left of me here, so you've got to be a little bit careful. Um, but it was a ton of fun riding it. Alright, so you may be judging me on the YouTubes, but uh, for like the first time I've done a water crossing like that 
there's some rough stuff in here for me i would call this probably an intermediate ride given my talent levels um i feel like a truck's fine though i don't know if i'd attempt this in a in a regular vehicle i think you might destroy your vehicle anyways send it if you can so here i am just coming up on uh the entrance way to the uh, springs here almost missed it if i hadn't like i look left and then i look right i'm like oh wait what because uh, the gps coordinates not exactly perfect um so just look for this little like loopy loop thing and the entrance is right in there And thank you so much for watching once again i had an absolute blast recording this and uh, i'm keen to get on the next ones i really recommend this ride it's just so nice to get bounced around on your bike and then have some healing time in a beautiful natural hot tub it's just amazing anyways thanks so much please like subscribe do all the things ciao